Hello friends, welcome to Gardening with Creekside. I am Jenny and today we are here for our weekly nursery tour and we're gonna really kind of focus on some perennials today. But before we get into the perennials, I wanna show you, here we are, we have this trailer full of gorgeous shrubs. This is all for one customer who has picked out shrubs for her new landscape. So don't forget, Fall is the perfect time here in North Carolina to be planting your landscape. Right here, we have the magnificent, I am loving this camellia. This is Southern Living's October Magic Ruby. She is in almost full bloom. She probably has about 10 blooms on her right now and she's covered in buds, just really pretty. So. Don't be surprised if you see an October Magic Ruby in the landscape here pretty soon. But don't forget, you can go ahead and plant lots of shrubs. Now, let's get talking about perennials because you know here at Creekside Nursery, we are a grower retailer. So we are growing lots of perennials that some are ready now and some will be ready come in the spring because not only is it a great time to do shrubs and trees, but it's also a great time to do perennials. So. First we have right here some Echinacea. This is the Sombrero series of Echinacea. This is Sombrero Red. Really a vibrant fire engine red bloom on it. It is going to be hardy in zones four to nine. Hold that thought because I'm gonna flip over so you can get all your, your specs on that. If you were looking for a nice hot color in your yard, then I really recommend the Echinacea, the Salsa Red. It also comes in orange and yellow, um, but they're very vibrant. They're not muted colors at all. Lots of bold color. Remember, Echinacea likes it hot and sunny, so those are great options for you. Now, I'm gonna kinda jump just for a second because we have two of Proven Winners daisies. We have Banana Cream and Daisy Mate. So I'm going to show them both to you, the tags first. So Daisy May is this one right here that is the pure white. So when you think Shasta Daisy, that's Daisy May. Really a prolific bloomer. And then you have Banana Cream. Now Banana Cream is really fun and these are heavy so I'm going to put them down. Um, banana cream is really fun because it has all sorts of fun shades of a nice pale yellow. So when they first come up, the flowers come out, they're a gorgeous yellow. Then they will turn as they age to a creamy white. So on the same plant, you will have whites, creamy yellows, and all the shades in between. So it really does look like a banana cream pie. Not going to be super tall, 15 to 18 inches tall. Daisy May is going to be a little bit taller than that. Um, pretty much the same growing conditions. Of course, they love the full sun. Just really prolific, big time bloomers. My, I ha do not have Daisy May, but I will now that we have it. I don't have it in the landscape, but I have banana cream in the landscape and it performed for us just magnificently well. Even in our clay soil, it did well. Um, so those Shasta daisies are ready to go. And then we also have right here, three different colors of salvia. So perennial salvia from Proven Winners. So I'm just gonna run through real quick. Let me show you, first of all, the foliage on it. So I'm gonna let Jerry come back to me. So salvias are really nice because they have a really fragrant um, foliage to them. It's very reminiscent of kind of an herb mint smell to them. So because of that, they are gonna be more deer resistant because of that smell. So the foliage on them all basically looks the same. So there's not gonna be much difference there, but let me show you the tags. So this is part of the Color Spires family. What do you call those things? Series, thank you very much. This is Back to the Fuchsia. Again, Proven Winners does an amazing job on their names. It's got Back to the Future, Back to the Fuchsia. This is going to be hardy in zones three to eight. Very, very um, lovely when they are planted in drifts. 
They do fantastic. The bees and the hummingbirds love them. So you have that gorgeous color. Now if blue is more your style, then you have azure snow. So look at that color. Just, and, and basically they all grow very similar to each other. That's why they're all in the same series, the same family. And then you have Indiglo Girl. Indiglo Girl is gonna be your deepest, richest color. So in that series, you have those three colors that we have available right here um, at the nursery. And they are growing. We potted these up not too terribly long ago. And they are nice and full and they are just fantastic plants. Let me put the tags back because otherwise I'll be like, now who moved those tags? And it'll be me. So let's head on over here really quick. We're gonna walk past Mum Alley and we are going to look at all the other perennials that are over here. Perennials are fantastic because they're so versatile. Yes, you only have to plant them once, but they're not necessarily um, a lot more low maintenance than annuals. Some people just think that a perennial, you plant it and you forget it, and you never have to touch it again. And that's not necessarily true. Perennials um, can be a little bit as much maintenance as an annual can be, but it comes back year after year. By definition, a perennial lasts for two or more seasons. Um, you still have to go in there and clean them up. You still have to go in there and divide them you know, different things like that. Now, look at this gorgeous sea of dark foliage right here. Just gorgeous. This is Midnight Masquerade, and it is a Pinstman, of course, from Proven Winners. It is going to be Hardy in Zones 3 to 8. Why do we love these? Well, they have those gorgeous spikes of the purple lavender white spikes on them, massive um, burgundy. I mean, just the foliage right now, like if you just had this in your yard right now, it would be gorgeous. Um, nice, tall, full habit, those purple flowers, um, the dark stems, nice and easy. You can switch, pair this with those cone flowers, those echinacea, perennial grasses, all sorts of things. Love the Midnight Masquerade. Um, the phloxes, are coming along. Dianthus is a little slow. We do have some really fun, we love the Paint the Town series from Proven Winners. Um, in the spring, when these have been in the greenhouse, they're nice and full, have a lovely, sweet fragrance to them. Very kind of delicate and sweet. Love it. Um, the Phlox. Now, we've got Phlox over here. This is particular one is the spring bling. You can tell the pine trees are dropping their needles. This is Ruby Riot. This is one of those creeping phloxes that are one of those first to blooms in the season when it's still kind of wintry outside and you see these carpets of color. That's what this is. And they come in different colors. That happens to be the Ruby Riot. And then one that I'm really excited about, they're coming, is the Minarda. This is the Pardon My Cerise Bee Bomb. Typically, the, the traditional ones, the native ones, can be really kind of tall and wild and woolly. But we love this because the hummingbirds love them. The bees, the butterflies, great pollinator attractors for your yard. Now, this one's a fantastic one because it's petite. It's only 14 to 18 inches tall. So this does great in the front of your bed as opposed to being in the back or the back of your yard where it can go wild and woolly like um, Jacob Klein, that's a traditional one that everybody, a lot of people know. Um, so that's a really neat one. And then, um, oh my gosh, where should we go? I don't know where we're gonna go next. Jerry says right here. Um, now this, for those of you that love lemon coral sedum from Proven Winners, this is a great alternative because right now um, that's not available. We've talked about that lemon coral is a perennial for us in zone 7B. For those of you that are in cooler climates, this would be a great alternative for you because lemon ball is actually a perennial in zones three to nine. So if you can find this beautiful sedum stone crop, whatever you want to call it, 
in your area, then I would highly recommend that you grab it because it is such a great cold, hardy, um, perennial and it's low, it's very soft, it's not pokey at all. It's a really a fun plant and it brings massive color to your landscape. Um, so make sure if you can find that, check that out. And these are these gorgeous, huge one gallon containers. But as always, there's lots of things going on here at the nursery. Stay tuned. We've got all sorts of fun. Next week, we're going to have a very fun nursery update coming to you because we are growing yet again here at Creekside and we cannot wait to show you the latest project. I'll just say this as a little teaser. It arrived yesterday on a tractor trailer. Hmm. I'll give you a week to think about that and ponder on what it could possibly be. As always, thank you so much for gardening with Creekside. Y'all have a fantastic day. We'll see you next time. Bye friends.